knows in Kato when you apply it, you don't have to step the way the Kato tells you to step. Right? Everybody knows that. So, you can't do that. First step is go to a chicharach. Second step is do this. And then put this here. Yeah, you can work out of your body. Thank you. Do that part. Other side. Okay. Boom. Boom. Are you familiar with what I'm talking about? Look, if you don't know, I know you're not familiar. Here's the motion. It's reinforced arm bar. You stretch. You dive to a front stance. And then you do what's called a manji uke. A manji is a Buddhist swastika. It's called a filfa. Okay? You know, swastika. Well, the Nazis got it from Buddhism, and they reversed the rotation. Okay, so when you say you go to certain Buddhist sects in Japan, they have a Nazi symbol. It's not a Nazi symbol. It's a Buddhist symbol. Okay, so don't think they've converted. Right. Okay, when you take this, this is the important thing that doesn't happen. Go back halfway, go forward half. Don't go all forward, don't go all back. Half, half, got it? Okay. Watch this hand. This hand's important, but this is the key. Could you hold on? Nope. You're not trying to hurt him, break his arm, you're trying to get rid of the choke. Okay? Now, I'm telling you, here's how you're going to screw up. Pay attention, because when I tell you you're going to screw up this way, avoid my being correct, please. Okay? You'll go like this. What did I tell you to do? Halfway, halfway, and manji uke, which means this is the down block, this is the, the uh, upper forearm. Yes? Okay. Would you take that posture for me? So we want this to be strong, right? Put this in chamber. Put it open with that gear. Line up your stance a little. Make your back stance in line. Yeah. All right? Put this in any other place but where it is. You follow me? That hand's important. Although this is the one that does the application. Now, here. Good? Strong? Okay, I think so. It's not. No, no, no. You know what I got. Now it's strong. Good. Good. One Good. No more weight in the back foot so yeah, that this will have more of a purchase. <laughs> you got it, man. So in Kankuda, you have this scene. Slap to the ground, turn to a down, right? Okay, let's turn this way. Right, turn, turn this way. Okay, I'm going to turn this way. Now, I have a choice. If he punches me, I could block this and hit him here. Or if he doesn't punch me, I can go like this and hit him here. This, and I push him. Cross step, weight dip, elbows go up. Right? You put your weight on the stepping foot. Now some people do it like this. We put the weight on the stepping foot on purpose. So you drop it. Okay? Your hands come up like this. Now your hands are now going to go like this. So they come forearm together, but they're not going to do this. They're going to fold inside like you're going, hey, you got a problem. Okay? And then you come down like this. This is like a forearm block. This looks like a hook punch. 
They are neither, but that's could be. Not the way we're talking. No, not like this. So it looks like a wedge block twisted. Yeah? That's important. If you think of a wedge block twisted, you do that. In the second part, you rise. Now why is it that there's two different ways? Because there's two different ways to apply them. Okay? So if we take big, ugly, disgusting, no. <laughs> you thought it was going to be two. Okay. I'm so do not step across. Listen to me. I know in the cockpit I just said step across. Don't do it. But dip. Get your hands in. <clears throat> Notice, Jim, I'm sure Jeff, that this hand goes this way and this hand goes this way. Because that's what his wrist is like. So that's a wedge, isn't it? Dip. So why did he have that step across? Why do you have the step across? Okay. Dip and stomp. The step across comes when you finish him up, follow. Now, ultimately, let's say you were low. Then you could do this and lift it as you take an up stance and get the same thing. Dip in the jaw. Oh, oh, now I'm looking at it. Now stop. I rest my case. Yeah. It helps to uh, do the kata. Do the kata. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hands in the hips. Front stance, elbow to front. Front stance, elbow to front. Okay? He goes in, he's trying, no, he's trying for a full Nelson. He doesn't get it. Or he's trying for a body hold. I move before he gets it. Okay, but if he gets it, it's a different story. Okay? So let's try, he put his hand in here and he's trying. I go like this. Bang. So you think I'm walking forward. Really, I'm moving him backwards. Same thing if he goes from my neck, he's trying to do this, do the same thing. Right? And so like this, you pivot. Yes? So here, 